I'm Safety Officer Lyle Daniel C. Linatok, and I am here today to discuss about flood and typhoon and present how to be prepared before this natural disaster occurs and its safety measures. It is important for everyone to be truly aware of the different ways of preparations and safety precautions to prevent hazardous effects of flood and typhoon. The Philippines is located in an area affected by natural disasters called the Ring of Fire or Typhoon Dump. One of the most dangerous natural events in, is typhoon that leads to flooding, especially in lowlands or places. Every year, 19 typhoons enter the Philippine region and about 7 or 8 make landfall. Typhoon season falls between June and November. During this time, rains and thunderstorms can occur randomly and are very difficult to predict. In the past, some have been extraordinarily powerful and caused casualties and the collapse of infrastructures in the affected areas. Now, every citizen has to be aware and prepared for such natural disaster. Here are some ways to prevent the danger of death or physical injury before, during, and after a typhoon with flood. Before a typhoon, have a plan, remind your family members to stock up an advocate food supply such as rice, canned goods, and foods that would last even without refrigeration. Stock up an advocate supply of drinking water and water for cleaning or other purposes. Prepare flashlights, batteries for flashlights, and radio, candles, and kerosene lamps or other lighting devices. Prepare a first aid kit in advance. Always monitor the news, whether it is television or radio. During a typhoon, stay calm and be alert. Stay indoors. Postpone any plans of travels or errands. When local authorities advise you to evacuate, do so. Move family pets and valuable to a safe place. Turn off gas, valves, electricity, and water when safe to do so. Be ready to evacuate if necessary. Leave your house as soon as you realize you're not safe. Monitor the weather reports. Check what is happening around you. After a typhoon, boil water before drinking it to avoid getting sick. Stay away from flood waters. They carry waterborne diseases. Many people who have survived the storm but braved flood waters actually have been hospitalized, not just for injuries or diarrhea, but also to the deadly leptospirosis. Leptospirosis is also known as whale syndrome and is caused by bacterial infection when dirty water contaminated with animal urine, commonly rats, comes in contact with a person's unhealed wounds. Clean and clear everything damaged by the typhoon. I hope you have learned something from this video presentation. Again, this is Safety Officer Lyle saying keep safe and thank you.